Let's see here. Uh, 91. Yeah, we're moving on to 91. So we've got some score. Now this, you know, this might be dumpster diving for a lot of people, but uh, I have found a pretty decent challenge in especially 91 score uh, with the non-white cardstock, especially these black ones, the franchise. Uh, some of the base set has a, like a, you know, a sequence of numbers throughout the set, you know, like a hundred cards or so will have the black border and they're always the toughest. I know Barry Bonds's base card is in this it has the same thing the black borders edges so to get a 10 in this griffey that is yeah that's pretty good i probably went through you know 15 20 copies just to find this one but can't complain on the 10 and then probably the most iconic card from this set um i can't tell you how many copies of this i've graded over the years but Everyone's going to recognize that card if you grew up in that era. The 773 Bowbreaker. Same thing as the Griffey. Uh, all black. Really tough. Usually it's tough just to find one centered. And then once you do find one centered, it's got white edges, you know, white soft corners. So not only I got one, but I got two. So, you know, that's one of the highlights of this bulk order. You know, most people wouldn't think so, but... That is a tough card to find. You know, you know, PSA 10 shape and got two of them. And then one more, got the nine. Really have to look at that one closer and see, you know, compare it to the two tens and see what they knocked me off for. Uh, really, the population ports pretty much dictate how tough it is on this card. Last I checked, I want to say the pop, the p population of PSA 10s is something like 70, 80. Where PSA 9s is like 300. It's like a 3 to 1 ratio at least. And that's definitely not pop control. That is just a kind of tough set with those black edges and borders. Uh, sticking to 91 score. Came back to the dumpster diving. The master blaster. A couple PSA 10s, a bow. I'd guess this is, you know, a 30, $35 card in a 10. But a couple nice tens and moving on. Looks like looks like I got three nines, so not my typical gym rate I'm expecting. You know, if it was three tens to two nines, it would be a little more acceptable. I'm trying to look at that one. That one looks yeah, that one's a little off center, right to left, even top to bottom. Yeah, that one's definitely fairly graded. That is really bad centering. I should have caught that one. Same here, yeah. Right's thicker than the... Well, that's within the 10 range. But when you factor in the bottoms off too, that makes... I think those are all fair graded. Yeah, same here. They're all off. Thicker on the right, on the top. So I think those were three fair graded. I just need to pay more attention next time on those. Okay, so this is... Let's see here. Three... Six, nine, ten. So there are ten of these. This is Chipper Jones, 91 score, first round draft pick. Uh, again, comparing this to like the black border cards from this set, these are super simple. If they're pack pulled or out of a factory set, rarely you're going to run into like a surface issue or a corner or even rough edges. It's almost always, you know, you're just looking at the centering. So got a PSA 9 on that one. And then we got one, two PSA 10s, three, four PSA 10s, five, six, seven, eight. And nine, so nine out of ten gem, uh, one PSA nine, can't, cannot go wrong with that. Um, I know this card that really has gone down, 
I'll have to check the current market. I, I would even want to guess right now. I know at one time this was like an 80 to $100 card, briefly, you know, at its peak, but still $9 a card to get graded. These are uh, solid, nice, nice little ROI. All right, guys, welcome back. I had to stop the camera and reset it. Uh, it was only about three or four minutes away for they automatically shut off. So we left off on nine out of 10 uh, PSA 10s on the Chipper Jones rookie. Got a, f I think just a few more 91 score. I always thought this was a cool card. The American flag. Uh, I noticed people on Instagram and Twitter showing off uh, patriotic cards. So I thought this would be a cool one just to get in a slab. Uh, surprisingly enough, I've actually graded a couple copies of this before, and I think they go for about... I've seen them sell for like 30 bucks in a 10, so when you see one that perfectly centered, uh, it's worth submitting at $9. Uh, Bo Jackson. I don't think we've seen this guy yet. Uh, that is his base card, number five. Really clean copy. Again, probably went through 15, 20 copies, you know, just to find a really nice, the best looking one. Another tough card to grade from this set. Uh, the whole franchise subset towards the end of the factory set. Um, again, those black edges, black borders, corners, usually have like the little... I call them hairy, like kind of the edge will be a little hairy and then the soft white corners, but really clean copy on this one. Really enjoyed watching this guy growing up. I uh, <clears throat> was lucky enough to see him when he was on the Padres as a kid. But uh, Ricky Henderson, 857 PSA 10. Uh, Cooperstown. So these are pretty cool. These were only available in the factory sets. You couldn't get these out of packs. Um... Let's see here. This one, yeah. Okay, so if you remember the Dream Team card, uh, very similar to the front centering, what you're looking for. But the thing that always will set you back is these green edges on the back. Those are really tough. There might be just a sliver of white on that corner. But overall, really clean copy. Uh, this is a really low pop, too. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I'll have to find the graphic and edit it in, but I don't think this card has sold in a PSA 10 for like way before the card boom. I want to say like 2018, 2019 or something was the last copy I could find on it. Uh, last comp on PSA's website. Anyways, let's see. Rifleman Griffey's PSA 10. Oops. PSA 10. And yeah, this is not the card you want to send in to get a 9, but I'd have to look at these closer, see what they got me on. But I also got two nines, so 50-50 on that card. Two tens, two nines. Yeah, I'm not sure. Just looking at it, just glancing at it. Looks very well centered. That one's a little off top to bottom, and not enough to knock it down for a 10. I'd have to look take a closer look at those, see what they got me on. So getting back to those Coopertown cards from the factory sets, got some Griffies, got a 10, another 10. Actually, you know what, I think these are all 10s if I remember right. So there's four of them. Oh, just four. So yeah, four, four PSA 10s on the Griffey Cooperstown card. Always loved that photo of him. Old school Mariner's hat. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so one card from 90, 91 tops. The Chipper Jones we saw in the score earlier. This has got a funny backstory. I got this out of a shoebox at a garage sale um, here in Albuquerque. Generally don't find too much. You know, this is pretty much what you're going to find. Uh, just junk wax era garbage sitting in shoe boxes, unsleeved, unorganized, not even stacked. And I pulled this out and I was like, it looked really clean, surprisingly. I had it down as a 9 plus. So anytime I put a car down as 9 plus, I think it's got an outside shot at a 10, but it's most likely a 9. And sure enough, got the 9. Really well centered, though. 
I might actually keep this card in my PC just because I'm one of those believers, you know, collect the nine, sell the tens. And this is a really clean copy and almost, I would say it's almost 50-50 left to right, top to bottom, really clean. I'm guessing they marked it off something on the back, but I'll have to take a closer look at that one. All right, moving on. Um, <clears throat> so this is slowly getting out of the junk wax era. These are all, f I almost guarantee these are all factory sets. I just pulled out of a single set, but you got the Man Ram, uh, PSA 10. Same, uh, same top prospect subset that Jeter's in for this year. And not the gold hologram, but still a really clean copy. Happy with that. Get a 10 in that card. This this card's pretty much a 10 or bust. I don't even know what it goes for. I'd, I'd guess 30 to 40 in a 10, if that. Probably 30. Uh, what was that? That was 93. So same. The base set. Got the Griffey in a 10. <clears throat> so this card... Yeah, definitely off center, left to right. Uh, definitely within, you know, the guidelines of a nine. I'd have to look at this closer, see why I got an eight. But the Jeter, even that in an eight, uh, I still won't lose any money on it. That card holds pretty good value. Got the Mickey Mantle from that set. I believe that is on the case or the card. Interesting. I was on the case. Okay, good. But I'm really hoping for a 10 on this card. Uh, pretty high value in a 10. I don't think much in a 9. Still won't take a loss at least. Um, so this one was the sleeper. Moving on to 96 tops. I think this guy might sneak in one of these years. Uh, people always talk about, oh, his stats are at Coors Field, blah, blah, blah. I could care less. I I think he was a hell of a player. He deserves to get in. I think there's some guys that <clears throat> from eras before him that deserved to get in, but probably before Helton will. You know, the crime dog, Fred McGriff, uh, Don Mattingly. But still, he'll. I think he'll sneak in one of these days. I'll hold this card probably long term, keep it in the PC. And I want to say it's still $100, right around $100 uh, in a 10. I haven't checked in a while, but... If uh, anyone remembers what Larry Larry Walker's cards did when he kind of snuck in, uh, can only imagine if this is going for a hundred now what this would go for if he got into the hall. Uh, Ninety six, another base Griffey. Can never complain with a PSA ten Griffey. Really do not know what this card goes for off the top of my head. Again, most Griffey base cards, you know, if it's not his first or second year and it's just the base, it's probably a $30, $40 card at least. So can't complain there. Another 10. Uh, Jeter from the 96. This is the future star card. Happy with the 9. Not sure what they knocked me down. I don't... Looks pretty well centered. Oh, you know what? I remember. I don't think the camera will be able to pick it up. Yeah. Yep, there it is. You guys can actually probably see that. There's a printer line right above his belt that goes all the way across the card. This is a rare card I had on my grading sheet as an 8-9. <laughs> I occasionally will do a half grade or I think it's an in-betweener. But I had this down as an 8-9 depending on how bad the grader wanted to mark me off. I think that line's on the case, but I could be wrong. But yeah, there was just that one printer line going across right of his midsection. But still, I mean, uh, pretty happy with a nine. You know, they could have easily knocked that down to an eight, and I would have understood. And can't have a, any bulk orders without Mr. Padre himself. I believe this is the only Tony Gwynn card in the order, but got this out of a factory set from uh, my dad gave me. You know, all the sets he's given me over the years. Uh, it's rare to ever find a Tony Gwynn card out of him because he usually takes him for his PC, but probably end up giving this to the, giving it to him for Christmas. Uh, nice little PSA 9. Doesn't have too many graded cards in the PC. That is it for baseball. I believe that was a hundred 
100 or so cards and I got another 30 or 40. So let me get those loaded and I'll be right back.